2023 Utah International Auto Expo is going on right now at the Mountain America Expo Center down there in Sandy. Yeah, all weekend you can gawk at hundreds of new cars, trucks, crossovers, SUVs, and electric vehicles. Yeah, with the climbing cost of cars out there, new specialist Jed Bull has some helpful hints for shopping on a budget. When you step out on the floor, the luxury cars, the sports cars, and the fully loaded trucks are really the great attention getters. But you can also find something under $30,000 that's a pretty good car. Whenever you get the popular thing, you're gonna pay. Keep that in mind if you're kicking the tires for your next car and not at the expo, just to soak in the latest and greatest. Brian Moody is the executive editor of Kelly Blue Book. Electric cars get lots of headlines, but they're also very expensive. So a hybrid is a way that you can make the most of that technology, but still keep it within your existing budget. The average electric car costs $65,000, but that's only 5% of the market. The average cost of all new vehicles is $47,000. Hybrids typically cost in between. But much closer to the gasoline powered car because the expensive thing about an electric car is that big battery and a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid has that same type of battery but it's much smaller prices are up due to high demand and low production in recent years also moody tells me more people than ever before are buying luxury cars right now luxury cars are making up almost 20 percent of the market that drives up the average cost it's not that all prices are high you can find pockets of savings in less expensive cars but it's not going to be luxury and it's not going to be the thing that everybody else wants which is a full-size suv or a pickup you can get a better deal on hatchbacks and sedans like the honda accord and the toyota camry because demand is not as high sedans typically cost ten thousand dollars less than a similarly equipped full-size or mid-size SUV. And we're talking about cars that are nicely equipped, that are around $25,000 or less, and still get the job done. This Toyota Corolla Hybrid gets 50 miles per gallon with a sticker price under $25,000. The Kia Soul, VW Jetta, and Honda HRV, also just under $25,000, and great-looking cars with good technology. Those types of vehicles are the ones that tend to be slightly less expensive than, say, um, you know, a full-size truck-based V8-powered SUV. Everybody wants those. Those are expensive to build, so you're going to pay more. If you're waiting for the cost of new cars to come down, he says there's still too much demand. Do your research online or here at the show where a product specialist can answer your questions before you head to the dealer. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bull.